Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is SSL inspection. Now, as soon as I said that, I know some of you went, SSL? We're not using SSL. So let's, first of all, talk about this, right? So when we first started using HTTPS or encrypted secured web browsing, we had SSL, which stands for Secure Socket Layers. And that was a way for us to secure all of the traffic using that, that protocol, and we used SSL certificates. Now, SSL has been taken out of the mix, right? It's been depreciated, and um, now we use TLS, which is transport layer, and we still use the term SSL because of historical precedence, right? And yes, there are probably some misconfigured web servers and other services out there that still support SSL version three, which was the last version. And uh, for compliance reasons and security reasons, those should have been migrated up through TLS. In fact, TLS one is not supported anymore. You know, we're up to at least where you should be running TLS 1.3. Now, one thing that you need to understand about SSL inspection, because that's really what we're, we're talking about, is it's useful not only for network administrators and companies, unfortunately it is also advantageous for the bad guys, right? Because what it, what is SSL inspection? And the reason we're doing this video and we're talking about this is because I'm going to show you a box yet this week that does SSL inspection. And for people saying that it's difficult, it, it is not difficult. SSL inspection has never been easier. So what is SSL inspection and what do we need to make it work? Well, if we just intercept web traffic from a web server and we break that connection, all kinds of things are going to happen. Pages aren't going to load right. They may not load at all. Your web browser is going to freak out. There's going to be all kinds of things that don't happen properly because your firewall or the device that's doing this is capturing the packets, breaking them open, inspecting the contents of those, repackaging the packets and forwarding them to the client. In order for this to work seamlessly, what we have to do is we need to have the, a, an SSL certificate that we've created and we have to have it installed on the system, whether it's a Windows machine, an Apple machine, Linux, iOS, Android, whatever that client machine is, has to have the certificate that we have created from our SSL inspection device because if we don't, then there's going to be all kinds of mismatches with that security, and it's going to throw up a lot of red flags and things like that. So in the box that you're going to see me introduce, the first thing we'll do is we will generate a certificate. We will install it in our Windows machine. And then when we start intercepting that traffic at the box, breaking it apart, inspecting the actual contents and repackaging it, our web browsers and our computer are not going to be any the wiser because we are going to be completing that that uh, connection with our SSL certificate. Now, there's a lot more technical jargon that I could throw at you. I think I broke it down kind of, I hope I broke it down in an easy to understand way. Let me know down in the comments if, if we still need to break that down a little bit further. But basically, it allows us to be our own man in the middle so to speak, where we are intercepting that traffic. So you've got your firewall, you've got traffic coming in, you got the client here. We are actually, instead of letting that connection just happen, we're breaking it here at the firewall, we're inspecting it, we're repackaging it, and sending it on its way. So you can do it a couple different ways. The most popular way that I have seen with the types of devices that I'm gonna show you is by using an internal proxy on that box but you don't have to configure the proxy on the endpoint because that box is usually our gateway and it's handling all of those functions once we, we turn that on. Now we have IDS, IPS, we have content restrictions, 
or content filtering and all those things, they do work, but they work even better when we can do SSL inspection. And you're going to continue to see vendors because everybody is so used to hearing SSL. You're not going to hear them say TLS inspection. Maybe in, I don't know, 20, 30 years, you know, when the new crowd takes over, maybe they'll switch that over to TSL inspection. But you're going to continue to hear from all of your vendors SSL inspection. And even though, and, and it's funny because I actually had this conversation with a tech. I was trying to get Let's Encrypt to work on a device. And I use the term SSL certificate. And you hear me say SSL certificate. And when I tell you to go buy a certificate, I don't tell you to go buy a TLS certificate. I tell you to go buy an SSL certificate. But the tech couldn't. <laughs> Some of the people are in that TLS mindset as far as the branding and the packaging kind, kind of goes. But you're going to still hear the majority of people say SSL and SSL certificate. Even though we're not using SSL for the, for the encryption, we are using TLS. So just kind of a recap, with SSL inspection, we are allowing our hardware to intercept a user's traffic, open the packets, decrypt them, inspect what's going on there, and if it's something we don't want coming into our network, we kill it, then we repackage it, if we want it to allow it, and we send it on to the client, and the client is none the wiser. There are some mechanics to this. I know there's going to be people who probably hop on here and say, well, you know, how do I do this? Well, the good news is, is that this particular vendor that I'm going to show you, they tell us how to use Active Directory if you're managing Windows machines to push that certificate to all of your computers. If you're using an MDM solution for all of your iOS devices, you can push this certificate to all of your iOS and your Mac OS devices using your MDM. And here's the thing, when you are in control of the network, you can do these kinds of things. So this may not be appropriate for something like public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi is a whole other ball of wax that we can talk about. And if you want to talk about how to lock down your public Wi-Fi, let me know down in the comments. That's, that's a lot different than a network that we actually own that we control. And if you're a business and you haven't had your... Uh, insurance company talk to you about cyber liability, cyber liability insurance, it's coming. And a lot of times when they first start out, they're not talking about SSL inspection. They will talk to you probably about IDS IPS. And yes, IDS IPS works without, because of the several different mechanisms it has, it works without SSL inspection, but it works better with SSL inspection. Just like content filtering works when you control the stack, when you control the actual end point devices and you can disable things like DNS over HTTPS. When you, <coughs> excuse me, when you control that, it works, it works pretty good. But when we can actually tear those packets apart, see what's on the inside, repackage them and send them on down the line, it works even better. So this takes that baseline of security that we're talking about and it, it ratchets it up, right? Bumps it up to that next level. So, at some point, if you have liability insurance, you're going to have to answer to the insurance company whether you're doing certain things to keep your information secure. And if you've got any questions about that, we have gone through several cyber liability insurance audits. We've, we help people do this all the time. I go through this almost daily, actually. So, so if you've got questions about it, let me know down in the comments. I'm really excited to show this to you. Because once I show you the price point, once I show you how easy it is, you're not even really gonna you're not even really gonna believe it. So, uh, if I didn't answer all of the questions about SSL inspection, if there's something particular you want to know, you want to get more technical into the weeds, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you'd like to go ahead and get SSL inspection set up for your networks, which is not a bad idea, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com. Let's start a conversation about this. In fact, I'll be posting more information over on the community once I release that video. So... 
If you've got questions, comments, you need help, you know where to get us. So once again, I'm Willie. I can't wait to show you this SSL inspection. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.